What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the past series as I uh, work on the settings here really quickly. There we go. That should be pretty good with the audio. Scroll down. I think everything else is fine. Yeah. Welcome back to the past series here from Springfield, Illinois, at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. We got two races left after this, so let's make them count here. Michael McDowell's your pole sitter with the 04 of. Eric McClure starting to his outside. Behind them is 33 of Kale Gale, the 6 of Dexter Bean. And then rounding out the top 5, Josh Krug in the 23. And to his outside is the 11. That is Ryan Silas. Pace car is in. We are about to begin here from Springfield on the dirt. This is going to be a wild one, folks. Here we go. Get ready. And there it is. Green flag in the air. We are racing McDowell with a huge jump. McClure didn't get going at all there. And now into one and two for the first time. Coming out of turn number two. Bunch of cars bouncing off the outside wall. And it looks like they're about to wreck. They're going to save it down the back straightaway here as we enter three and four now. Slightly different package than the one we saw last time. The first season was chaotic. The second season was boring. We're trying to find something in the middle to give, get us a good race. And it seems that lightning in the bottle is just, it hasn't been captured yet. So we're still waiting to find that perfect package. We're going to see if this be a good one but if they're smacking the wall off every corner I don't think it'll be a good package for good racing but who knows maybe it will I might be wrong here we go anyways McDowell loses the lead as Josh Krug works his way up to or works his way up into the top spot further back throughout the field everybody sliding in through these corners and able to get through and now they're bouncing off the wall once again as we head down the back straightaway further back i think they're all making it no the 21 of todd bosher's around along with bobby santos the third with heavy rear end damage on his car caution is out josh crew wins the race back to the caution flag with bobby gerhardt sliding in the second behind them three wide way back and another car with damage is tim russell let's go back and Take a look at what all just went down here. Oh, man. Looks like Russell in the middle. The 32 slid up. Santos, nowhere to go. Gets collected in that. Bosher gets tagged on the way by. That's where his damage came from. Billy Tanner. And he goes 7. And who's in the 32? That's James Busher in the 32. That made that initial contact down on the bottom there. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again. Oh, boy. Oh, end of the wall. Your leader, Josh Krug, smacks the outside wall. Now entering turns three and four. Trying to roll the top of the racetrack, but it's not really much banking for him to work with here. He's still going to try it, and it looks like he'll succeed as we head back down into turn one. Trouble, contact, and around goes the 33 into the outside wall hard. We got a big crash in turn two. They are stacking them in, and more cars piling into it here. Turn two. Caution comes out, racing back to the yellow flag. Michael McDowell and Brian Silas in front of the field here. McDowell going to try to hang on. Silas trying to slide next to that two car. Can't quite get there. And McDowell will win the race back to the caution. What in the world just happened? Man, looks like Silas on the inside of Kale Gale. And Kale tried to drive in deep to... Uh, Bend off that 11 car and drove right into 
the left rear quarter panel. Looks like he was starting to spin himself out as he realized the mistake he had made, but just too little too late. Backs into the wall hard. Josh Krug into the wall hard with the rear end of his car. The 5 and the 25 just kind of lock up trying to avoid. They slide straight up the racetrack. The 16 of All Guyer, a championship contender, involved in it. So is, this, so is the 34. Man. They just really stacked them up here. Here's another angle of it as they slide into the wall. There's Allgaier, the 25. They all just kind of locked up. Allgaier into the 33. Oh, man. The 23 gets hit by Eric McClure. We got more stacking up. See the 02 into the 34 of Daryl Basham. Big time damage on all of these cars. These cars are completely destroyed. So we take one more look at it. From further back. It's a good look at the car. Oh, Richard Johns in the 39 as well. like it was a clean race back to the caution aside from the destroyed race cars that brought out that caution we're gonna hop back into it here green flag is back in the air racing once again from the Springfield fairgrounds and the one and two three wide contact Silas they're all bouncing off the wall We'll keep it going. For now, at least. It's hard to say the, the name Silas without thinking about uh, the quarry. If you know, you know. If you don't, then don't worry about it. But it is an amazing game, just so you guys can know. Man, that's one of my favorites of 2022. Although it is 2023, and the game's probably about a year old now. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm getting off topic here. Racing here at Sprint. Oh, we got a wreck. The 65 of Justin Marks is around. Todd Bosher spins further down the back stretch. More contact being made. But the 21 and the 60, 65 are the main ones that find themselves in trouble here. From the fairgrounds. And caution is out once again. Green flag back in the air. In the world, we got a big time separation here in the pack. But Dexter Bean, your new leader, and he smacks the wall pretty hard. Not as hard as Aaron Crocker did as we head down the back stretch now. Once again, we got a wreck back here. The 39 of Johns, the 97 of Jeremiah Cook are both around. And that'll bring out yet another caution. Sorry, I gotta be giving y'all some sort of headache or something seizure inducing with all the camera changing I'm trying whoa look at the 31 up in the cushion oh he tried to get up there oh but gets too high on the racetrack around goes Michael Folk he's gonna save it down the back stretch but look at how much that stacked the field up as we head down into three and four can they survive? Can they make it out alive? Three and four wide throughout the field. Are they going to make it work? Down the front stretch. Still four wide. Back down to three now as we head into turns one and two. I can't believe they made it out of there without wrecking. Man, that was tight. Oh, but they're in the wall again. They're in the wall again. That ain't going to work, boys. That ain't going to... It worked. It worked. I don't know how, but they made it out without tearing some stuff up. Oh boy, you gotta hold your breath with these guys. Man, this is always kind of a wild card here on the schedule. You never know what you're gonna expect, or what you should expect, I should say. 
as they keep popping off the wall and around goes Phil Bozell and there's the wreck that we were waiting on Frank Kimmel's around on the back stretch as well Tim Russell involved oh more contact all guy just coming out of pit road it's gonna help him all right now getting ready to double them up and green flag is back in the air Brian Silas is now your leader as he clears the six down in the one and two Going to get the wall off turn two? Yes, he will. Here comes Aaron Crocker in the number 98 machine. She's going to try to look for the lead. Side by side, out in front. Big time slider by Crocker, who absolutely throws it in there. The 11, trying to get the run off the top. Side by side. Once again, down the front, straight away. That would have been an amazing finish if this was the end of the race. But the 11 edged her out that time by... She's going to clear him off turn two. This lap just brushes the wall. Duggan Basham inside the top 10 and at number 94. The 97 of Jeremiah Cook slid way up. Scared the 12 of Goslin up into Basham. They're going to keep it straight. Still racing three wide down the front straightaway here as we head back into one and two. It's getting tight. They're squeezing together. And they are not backing out of anything here. Three wide off turn two. Once again, Basham. Duggan Basham up into the wall big time. He's going to keep it straight. But lose a ton of momentum and a ton of positions. As we have four wide further back. As we head down into turn three. Man, there is action everywhere. It's hard to keep up. 47 kind of on his own right now. He's your point leader. Philip McGilton. No help whatsoever. Aaron Crocker into the outside wall there. Now we're starting to get ourselves a bit of a green flag run it seems. As Aaron continues to lead here from the fairgrounds here in Illinois. Now Brian Silas putting some pressure on her here. Definitely seems to have the stronger car as she bounces off the wall again. That slowed both of them down. They both got checked up and now here comes the two, the pole sitter, Michael McDowell. 27 of Hornish into the mix as well. Two originally open wheel guys. McDowell used to test open wheel cars. Sam Horace Jr. raced an Indy car. And now they're here in stock cars trying to give them the business. And Silas just bounced off the wall big time. Check up for him there. Allows Crocker to get back to her to his inside. Top four just kind of pulled away from the rest of the pack. As Duggan Basham has worked his way back up into the fifth place. He's trying to hold these guys off. See Alex Yontz in the number 31 machine into the mix here as well. The crazy thing about these races, he never really. No, oh no! Around goes Brian Silas in front of the field. He's gonna turn it around with no issue, but gonna lose all that track position. Caution is out once again. Aaron Crocker leads by a country mile as everybody got checked up after that incident. Duggan Basham was up in the second place. What just happened? It's going to bring out a late, race, a late race caution that will likely end or extend the race. And it looks like Silas just kind of got squeezed up, in, excuse me, up into the outside wall by Hornish there. Yep. Sam Hornish Jr. and Brian, Brian Silas racing for second there in front of the pack. Squeeze each other into the wall. 
in front of the field. Everybody gets checked up and stacked up, but luckily, they made it out alive. No harm, no foul here on the race back. Thank goodness. Well, this has certainly been a wild one. And we can only assume the conclusion will be just as wild here. Because we're about to go green with two laps to go. It'll be a green and white checkers. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Aaron Crocker didn't get a great jump. Duggan Basham on her outside. Trying to hang tough. Can't quite do it. That 98 car just too strong on the bottom. And he's in the wall. Big checkup. Here comes Jeremiah Cook. What a comeback for him. He's up inside the top five. Looking for second. Three wide behind your leader. Lots of sliders being thrown into these corners. That's a six of so Dexter Bean works his way up into the mix. How about the seven of Jeff Caudill into the mix? White flag in the air. One more time around for Aaron Crocker. Here comes Jeremiah Cook. Can Jerry do anything about this? No. He's going to smack the wall big time. Here comes McDowell underneath him. The seven of Caudill looking to follow through. Side by side in the three and four for the final time. Cook and McDowell side by side out of the final corner. At the stripe is going to be all Aaron Crocker as she finally picks up her first win. And Michael McDowell clears to take second. Wow. What an exciting finish here on the dirt from the fairgrounds as we did have a car go around. I believe it was Bush Jarvis in the zero that uh that uh got turned around and yeah it was. <clears throat> Sixty two got into the wall and zero couldn't do anything to avoid him and around he goes. It's John Graham in the sixty two. Poor Daniel Brode got checked up there as well as a result. And it's all Aaron Crocker as she finally wins after a couple seasons here in the past series. But uh, let's go ahead and look at your points, shall we? Two races left. USA International is next. And then the season finale at Homestead Miami Speedway. Two Florida tracks to uh, end off the season. But uh, here's a look at your final, or not final, your point standings. As of now, Jerry, Jeremiah Cook has closed the gap big time. He is within striking distance. If he can string together two more strong races here, he can possibly steal the championship this season. Bill McGilton still has your points lead as of now. Michael McDowell third in points. Dexter being fourth. Frank Kimmel fifth. Justin Allgaier falls all the way back to 6th in points. Doesn't look like he'll be winning the championship this season. But um, still not, not completely eliminated. It'll be very difficult for him. But everything will have to go completely his way for the rest of the season for him to pull off the championship this season. And then everybody else just kind of slots in behind them. So that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. Hope to see you all next time. And until then, peace.